Greetings, everyone, and welcome to One Success Mindset here. I'm Dr. Shine, and you are now tuned into the podcast of Shiners. I hope you are elevating beyond the challenges that you have been facing that is going on in your world. I hope you are being victorious over that, and I hope you're recognizing all that comes with the lesson. You know, um, I was doing a meditation and I just want to talk about not allowing your life to embody the trauma that you have experienced. I mean, you know, there comes a time where there's something new that is transpiring in our lives that makes us elevated. And if we're continually remembering the trauma the bonds that were created over the stressors, over the tra- tragedies, over the, you know, just the people who have misled us, people who have harmed us, and people who have hurt us. You know how we always talk about recognizing the trauma. We recognize that we've been abused. We recognize that someone has taken advantage of us. Now we embrace it. Once we embrace that, then what happens? We go above and beyond that to exceed it. So not allowing the haters, the naysayers, or any of those people to implement their practices into our lives is the key. That is the key. So what do we do with that? key. We open the door to happiness. We open the door to the elevation of light. We open the door to continual blessings. See, and these blessings and, well, these empowering opportunities that we have been granted was trying to be stifled by those who didn't want us to see it. It didn't, you know, those energies that didn't want us to even recognize that we were worthy of the happiness. We were worthy of the love that is entering into our lives. We were worthy of the job that we got and we didn't have to sell our souls. We didn't have to sell our bodies. We didn't have to sell our children. We were just genuinely there at the right point in the right time. And we, were awakened to trying to do more, trying to be more, trying to have more. Now, again, there are going to be these energies that are going to try to stagnate us and keep us back and hold us back. But the elevation of the Most High is going to produce for us that opportunity where we see the success come as it should in our lives. Now, this success can be any type of of way. You know, it may be the job that we've always been waiting for. Preparing for that opportunity is where we need to be. So when it does arrive, we are not too far to the left. We're not too far to the right. We're perfectly aligned because we're walking that path, shiners. Every single day, we're walking the path of exceeding what was supposed to be there to stop us from being healthy, to stop us from being aware, to stop us from being in recovery. And when we realize that God's respected is protected, the Most High will begin to observe and show us things within the mindset of people and what the next steps were going to be if we didn't awaken at the time we did. Now, there are going to come times where the trauma is going to envelope so much of our understanding until it'll push us in the future or it'll scare us from what has happened in the past. And we'll think that it's reincarnating itself at the moment, which it actually would if we allow it, because what we give energy to, it flows to that particular thing, right? So with that being said, amazingly, we have the potential to steep, to continue to keep going above and beyond where our mindsets want to take us far out there. 
So if we're worried about the future, will we, you know, have stability? Will we have security? Will we have protection? Will we have, you know, whatever we are wishing upon ourselves to have in the near future or the far future? If we don't continue to be in the present moment and remain here, then that can take us far out there to the point where we can start to visualize things that could actually happen. Now, mind you, trauma plays a significant role in the psyche where people feel certain ways about certain situations. You got to learn to protect yourself with the armor of your higher, higher good, your higher power. You have to tell yourself that in the midst of the storm, I'm here presently. I am fine. I am okay. And if you fuel off of that and the energy of the memory of whatever it is that is having, having a trauma bond with you at that moment, we can learn to adapt to the healing of the trauma and then turn around and demand that our future share with us what we expect it to. That's how you can have peace, healing, understanding, success. And you can do it, shiners, just by taking baby steps, telling yourself when you think about the old way of thinking, you think about that addictive personality within you, calm down, we got this. That's how I was able to stop smoking cigarettes. I smoked a pack a day for about 10 years. And I just quit and have not been back since because there's a, there's a trigger that helped me elevate my trauma and heal from it. And yes, God will bring a ram in the bush to show you that it's time. And if you heed to that and you follow that path and you go where it is leading you without hesitation, it's an immediacy, it's an urgency to try to at least do better, that's when you'll see the remnants of the things that you used to fear, the things that used to worry you, the things that used to stress you out, in the present moment being okay. It's that fear of the unknown of what's down that path that causes one to think that it is better to be with the group and handle the situation however it is with the group because we're not by ourselves. We're not responsible at 100% expectation. See? So shiners, what we have to do is realize that we've come a long way and we have to give ourselves credit for the things that we've learned. The empowerment of not entrapping the trauma that has happened to us in our lives is the most important thing we could do to help ourselves when we're just trying to work through a challenge. You may have an argument with your baby daddy or your baby mama, and it's something that you can't believe y'all even arguing about. But if you recognize that the energy that is fueling that traumatic experience has nothing to do with the present moment. I guarantee you, if you think about the last argument you had with your baby mama, baby daddy, child, husband, wife, significant other, parent, it all was something that happened in the past because we're not grateful for the, the essence of the present moment. Or we're so far in the future, we're expecting it to happen. So we just say, okay, then that's what it is. That's what it's going to be. So I will treat myself and this situation accordingly. Prepare for the new. 
and watch what happens to those who try to keep you down. You don't even have to look for it. It'll get back to you. It'll get back to you. Every one of those people who tried to stop the preparation for your new beginning, for your new success, for those who care, for those who want the the ability to be able to do more, to have more, and you have the key to it, Shiners. And this key is reflective of what you heal from through your traumatic experience. Now, I don't know why I got that download, but that download came and it really, it really touched me because it helped me see that being in the present moment and the reality of things, the realness, the tangible touch of it all is a spiritual thing as well because we can ascend higher and move towards the dynamic of tapping in and touching the essence of what our future is going to look like, what we are planning to do with our lives and how it's going to come to fruition. You know, I was putting together some documentation and it was amazing when at the end of the year, you know how you close out your books, you get your taxes prepared, and then you do what I call a yearly synopsis, a synopsis of everything that has taken place over the term of the year. It is so phenomenally great when you are just living in the moment and you're taking baby steps to elevate to your success, the power that comes when you look back over your life and you see the people you've helped. You have the statistical data to show that these are the things that you've done and the people that you've impacted, the communities that you've connected to, the the people who have received the resources from you that other people were not willing to share and give to them. And you become a wealth and a well of flowing, clean, crisp, transparent, like that crystal blue water. And it feels so ultimately great, Shiners. It feels so good because no one can tell you that you can be stopped, see? Because they're not investing in you. You're investing in you. No one can tell you that the blueprint in which you have already seen work over and over and over again is not effective. They can't tell you that. Why? Because you, see, there goes that throat chakra. No one can tell you that it doesn't work because you are the example that it works and you got documentation approved you got statistical data analysis that you can program and plug into any critical dimension of how many people you have successfully helped imagine the grandmother who's living in the hood And every young parent who runs out of something goes to the grandmother in the hood. Can you imagine her statistical data that she has? Imagine the individuals who sit on the bus going to work and they're sharing good, healthy, positive images of what's going on in their lives and how they've been blessed well, how they've been empowered and inspired to not be less, but to be more. See, our minds have this opportunity of continuing to remember things the way that they are because we ritualize them so much so that that's all we know. But we have to change that. We have to elevate to that. You know, And now, you know, we can take all of these small examples, shiners, and we can move them to an area that succeeds in our own lives. Yeah. How can this be a success? 
by looking at the year of 2024 in incremental weeks. We're already in the fourth week of the first month of the entire year of 2024. Pretty soon, it'll be 2025. So in this moment, what we need to do is tap into the reality of what we are grateful for, what our lives are going to be looking like. So it won't be a surprise when we're done walking this path, you see. When we've recognized that the path has been walked, now we're coming to something. And it could be a new beginning. It could be a new experience. It could be new people loving what you're offering and actually taking a hold to it. Because let me tell you, Shiner, some of these people that have kept us down, they knew that we were going to tap into someone who needed what we had, but they wanted us to have that lack of self-confidence that we would never be ready, prepared for the reality of the ones that will meet us and that will, will teach us the greatness of what we have instilled in them. I'm getting more and more thanks Shout out to my Hope Nation. Shout out to, you know, the individuals who have told me that we are a mentor and an inspiration to them. Those are the ones we need to tap into because we take too much time explaining the... See, I needed to take time to explain the tricks and traps so that we will be able to step over them and move into the dimension that our universal source and our higher power along with our ancestors expects us to do. So I needed to go over the traps and the snares that are so set. And if you're not aware, we'll fall into them. So I did not want to put you out there and say, okay, this awakening is not going to be, you know, a little bit difficult, a little bit challenging, but if you keep at it, you will succeed and you will see the light at the end of the tunnel and you will you will see it in life in this present moment, in this moment that will eventually come in this lifetime. You don't have to wait to go over to another world or another planet. You can do it right here right now. As long as you take steps slowly and you track down those energies that are surround you, that are around you, you got to know who's who. You got to feel it. You got to intuitively feel who's who. And don't just look at the beauty. Don't just look at the title. Don't just look at the professional appearance. Don't just look at the big nice vehicles. Don't just look, just look at the everyday mundane individual. Just look at the ordinary. Don't look at the, the cruise line ships. Don't look at all of that. Yeah, we eventually get that. We eventually move towards vacations in Egypt. And we talk about Dubai and Cancun and you know, Los Angeles. We talk about Las Vegas. We talk about Ghana and Nigeria. And we actually visit Switzerland. You know, we actually experience all of this. However, we start where we are. And we don't forget to remember every lesson along the way. Baby steps. Remember the turtle and the leopard. Or the cheetah. Yeah, I think the the, che- the, the cheater. The cheetah. <laughs> but the turtle can make the same amount of strides as the cheetah. If it's done over time in a consistent way. Because some of these people have the assumption that entitlement is going to say, oh, you just put on a suit and you go out and buy you a nice car and then you call yourself a doctor and you just 
play the role. That's in the movies. Yeah, you don't get sued when you're playing a doctor on TV. You don't get hurt when you're a thief and a robber and a shyster and a swindler and a narcissist when you're on TV. But yeah, you do. Because the character ends up getting what it deserves before the movie is ended. So why don't you think that would happen in real life? It definitely will. And the chosen one, the chosen, the chosen ones, God's respected, is always going to be protected. And guess what? They're going to see their heaven on earth as well. So again, shiners, these are the things that have prevented us from being able to be a success because we've been distracted for too long. But remember, these are not our clowns and this is not our circus. We have to focus on what we are manifesting for our lives, period. When we do that, everything else will come together and we will be amazed at how beautiful our lives will become. We'll finally meet that significant other that really and genuinely will withstand the test of time. We finally will uh, have that nice, you know, whatever it is we're dreaming about. Don't tell too many people about that dream because sometimes when people realize that what you want is what you desire, they'll Think about it, speak it into existence and give it to your next door neighbor. Next thing you know, your neighbor is riding right around in the vehicle that you always wanted or the house that you always wanted to buy. So let's be mindful and then realize that without work and ethics and morality, it's going to be a hard journey. It's going to be a journey. Because we can't go around doing negative things, expecting positive results. That is the insanity of addiction. Doing the same thing, expecting a different result. No, do something different, shiners. And that's what we're here to do. We're here to remind each other that we're walking this path. And this path is a righteousness perspective that involves everything and anything that we value in our lives that we want eventually. So I dare you, I dare you to take the next step in initiative to be your better, authentic, most genuine self and not play the game and be more than what you really are, trying to outshine someone else. Because don't forget, when you shine, you've gone through some things and you've learned some lessons. And now it's just God's way of giving back to you what others have taken through the bullying tactics of the way life has done you. Now, this happens again after you've healed. So take that into consideration, Shiners, and I hope you have a great night. I hope you are doing well. Um, I hope you're being consistent and coming to terms with things that go on in your life. I hope you are showing up in your own lives and, you know, being that next example of what it's going to look like when you finally get to the other side of the path. And I hope you're rocking in the shoes you're walking in. Step on, ease on down, ease on down the road. That's all you got to (laughs) do. Don't you carry nothing that might be alone. Ease on down, ease on down the road. Yeah. (laughs) So you ease on down the road as you're walking through your destiny. And I'll see you on the other side when all is successfully healed. And we have withstood all the examples and the tests that is played on this planet so we can live the rest of our lives on this planet in peace and tranquility. We'll see you next time. Thank you for being here.